If you're new here, my name is Reagan, and we're here to start another weekly reading vlog. I think it was just the entire book. Yeah. And then less bored than I was in the last book. books that we talked about this week. Today is Saturday the 10th, and we're here to start another reading vlog. I am in the middle of a few books. The Love Con by Cerise Glass. This I've been reading for like a few days now, I guess. I'm on page 102. I'm hoping to finish it this week, but it's what I'm prioritizing the least because I have some other bigger books going on. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I have the audiobook of this and it's going to expire in like three or four days. So I have to get through this slightly quicker. I'm approximately at part three, which is page 259. This is definitely getting finished this week and this is higher priority because there's a time limit. I'm also in the middle of Crescent City 3, House of Flame and Shadow. I have not gotten very far. I'm on chapter four, page 56. I might be a little bit farther than that because I did by the Kindle version because this was a pain to hold. I tried to hold it for like the first three chapters and I was like, no, I can't do this. And I bought the Kindle version. It was only $5 because I had some credits. I'm hoping to get through this this week, not the entire book. I don't think I'm gonna get through the entire book. I just wanna maybe get through half. I'm just kind of going through this slowly when I feel like picking it up, but it is high priority because if I could read this this month, that would be amazing. These are the three books that we have going on in this video so far. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and listen to some more of this. Then I'm gonna do some editing on last week's reading vlog. I'm going to Costco with my mom today, so we have to do that. Good morning. I have an emergency in here because I woke up sick. Today is Super Bowl Sunday. I feel awful, actually. Like, this is the worst I've felt in a while. Like, I normally get colds and stuff. This, this is pretty darn bad. It's nothing more than a cold, but for some reason I feel worse. So maybe I need to take a COVID test or something. It also could be because of how late I stayed up the past two nights. Way past what I normally do. We went out for the first time in a long time and there's like a disease going around my campus. Not like anything specific, just like, I guess people are getting sick, so I might have what everyone else has. But I do have something to update you on, which is why I turned on the camera, because otherwise I wouldn't have wanted to. I finished my first book of the video. I finished A Good Girl's Guide to Murder yesterday, and I'm deciding to rate it three stars. It was good, and the ending surprised me. This is one of the first mystery thrillers that I haven't guessed the ending to that I've read this year. It wasn't making me react. Like, I guess I just didn't really care about the characters as much. It was good, but it wasn't anything I'm gonna think about. I am gonna continue on with the series, so I'm not gonna start another book until I finish one of the other ones. It's not gonna be Crescent City 3, so it's gotta be the Love Con. Today, I don't know what I'm gonna do, honestly. I know I'm gonna go change out my laundry. I'm going to finish editing something, and I have some homework to do. I don't know if I'm gonna go to the Super Bowl party that I was originally gonna go to. If I don't, that means probably way more reading. Who knows? I don't wanna get anyone else sick. talk very really loud because I'm sick so I'm gonna whisper like it's ASMR. Welcome to the weekly segment in these reading vlogs of Reagan opens a package that she ordered that she shouldn't have ordered. In this week's segment we're more deluded than most weeks. Oh god. Yeah so I did order three more of these. We have Barbarian's Mate, Barbarian's Touch, and Barbarian Mind. I will be taking no further questions. Am I regretting my purchase? No. My lymph nodes are so swollen. Like, really bad. Today is the 12th of February. This morning I woke up so sick that I could not go back to sleep. It was like 6 in the morning. I decided to go to the doctors. They tested me for everything. I'm negative for strep, for COVID, all that stuff. So it's just cold, but it is so bad. I don't want to eat anything. I don't want to talk. So I've just been laying in my bed all day since I got back from the doctors. I slept from like 9.30 to 1. I've been doing some homework, and now that I'm done with my homework, I'm reading, as you can see. I'm reading House of Flame and Shadow on chapter 7, also, as you can see. I think I'm about 100 pages in. It's like 4 p.m. Literally haven't left my bed 
all day. I'm just gonna keep reading until I sleep tonight. And that's my entire plan for the day. I have a day off tomorrow. We have a wellness day tomorrow. So I have a lot of homework to do first of all. Other than that, we have no classes tomorrow. So I'm hoping I can get through like two large chunks of this book. Oh, I, oh, I. So guess what I have been reading? I don't want any questions asked. Last night I was craving something mindless and easy. And so I picked up Barbarian Lover by Ruby Dixon. And I've made it to a page 176. Today is Tuesday the 13th of February. I just wanted something quick and mindless and I knew I could finish this. It was gonna keep me motivated to read. So I went and picked this up and I'm gonna finish it today, I think. Okay. I may be talking real quiet because my throat hurts so bad. This is the worst sore throat I've ever had in my entire life. But I have some things to update you on. Happy Valentine's Day. It is the 14th of February. I have a lot to do today, so there will not be much reading to be done. I told you that I started this. I actually finished it yesterday. I rated it at three stars. Least favorite out of the series so far, but still very good. I'm excited for the next one. Made no more progress on the love con. Let's see where I am on my Kindle. I'm on chapter 16, page 165. I'm trudging. I'm trudging my way through this one. I would love to get a huge chunk of it done this week and this weekend, but like I said, today is not going to be the day. I have so much work to do, it's not even funny. On Monday, we had school, but I was sick and I didn't go, so I missed three of my classes on Monday which stinks. Then on Tuesday we had a wellness day. I don't know if this is something that a lot of schools do but a lot of schools in my area do this. A wellness day is when you have the day off for your wellness. Professors are not supposed to assign you any work. It's a nice sentiment but most people on wellness days end up catching up on work you know which is fine if that's what's gonna help you with your mental health. You only get two so like it's not a common occurrence but since I was sick I didn't get to do any of my work. I was planning on writing one of the two papers I have due on Thursday on Tuesday and I ended up not doing that and just did nothing yesterday other than I changed my bed sheets which was actually something very productive but out of all the things I could have done productively that was probably the last one I needed to do. Something fun that happened today my professor took us to one of the lounges that were hosting a wellness activity during class. We got to make these bracelets and I made this one that says my name on it and it has two hearts. Honestly, it's really cute and I think I'm gonna wear it, like add it to my stack. And then I made one for my mom as well as a present for her just for fun because we had extra time and it twins with mine. So my second thing that I had to talk to you about, these packages I got. This is when I found out like I woke up and I was really sick and I was like, oh God, I have strep throat. And then the doctor tested me and I didn't. But I ordered new toothbrushes because I freaked out and I was like, oh God, I have strep throat. I need to get a new toothbrush. We got the new Katie Robert book, Midnight Ruin. That's all I had to tell you today. You're probably not going to see any more of me today because of my workload. I hope you like my cute Valentine's Day shirt and happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys. Sorry for my southern accent. It came out a little bit today because I'm scratchy in my throat. Good morning. It is Thursday the 15th. This week has been a week for I'm gonna be so honest. Not doing great. I am going to class. I still have to write one out of the two papers I said I was gonna write yesterday. I've made a slight bit of progress and I have some stuff to tell you about reading, but not much. First, to get this out of the way, haven't touched this. Then we have this, which I actually have made some progress on. I ended up buying the audiobook this morning. Smartest decision I ever made. Buying the Kindle version, so smart of me. I hate holding this ginormous book. Secondly, the Kindle version, if you buy that, you get the audiobook for like $7 instead of the audiobook for like $50. Probably smartest thing I did all week, if I'm being honest. I've made it to about page 200. I'm enjoying my time with it. Probably about the same as Sky and Breath. I just want it to be read. You know that movie, a Disney Channel movie? It's like how to build a perfect boy. And they build a boy and he can read real fast. And he just goes... 
and he read it all that is what i want to do to this book good morning i promise i look so much cuter in person than i do over this phone today is friday the 16th i've made some progress on my reading i have not made any progress on the love con i feel like this is a very boring reading vlog because i'm getting nothing done but i really really want to finish this this weekend like just get it done i just need to sit down and do it you know what i mean like i just need to do it as of this i have made some progress i'm on page 250 buying the audiobook for this best decision i've ever made what i like doing is reading it on my kindle along with listening to the audiobook and that's what i was doing last night i listened to some while i got ready this morning i'm going to probably listen to it while i do my laundry today there's no way you can see me i'm crying um not because of any book because i got water and it went down the wrong pipe and i actually choked i literally turned on the camera and i about died got back from a wrestling match thought i'd update on my reading i've made an extremely large dent in this since i last talked to you i you can see right there i'm on page 524 so i have 300 pages left to go literally all i did today after my class my class ended at 11 30 i sat and i read i did my laundry listened to the audiobook i sat and i followed along with the audiobook and i just read i got through so much i only have about four hours left in the audiobook at the speed i'm reading it at so i'm gonna sit here tonight and read more i just wanted to tell you that i actually did make some major progress on this i'm supposed to end the vlog tomorrow if i finish this that'll be crazy i don't know if i've told you how i'm feeling about this so far and i don't want to say much because obviously i don't want to spoil i like this one more than sky and Breath. and let me just say bryce about to piss me off she's getting on my nerves it's making it really hard for me to enjoy her pov another plot line is the only one that's really keeping me going in this book i'm less bored than i was in the last one if i'm being honest the only thing that's getting me through this is being able to watch destiny's reading vlog after this Today is Saturday, February 17th, and I'm here to end the reading vlog. I'm going to give you a little recap of what happened this week. Firstly, I finished A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I rated this three stars. It was fun, but not so memorable. Then we moved on to Barbarian Lover by Ruby Dixon. This was also a three stars. This is probably my least favorite one in the series so far. Still a good time. Still read in 24 hours. Would recommend. Then we finished this monster, House of in Shadow by Sarah J. Mass, the third book in the Crescent City series. I'd say my order of the series goes Crescent City 1 as my favorite, then Crescent City 3, then Crescent City 2 as my least favorite. I rated this one four stars. I just think these books are too long. I am going to read the next book in the series whenever that may come out. Then lastly, I am in the middle of the Love Con by Cerecia Glass. I have not read any more of this in like the past week. I just don't know how I can go back to reading this after I finish this i hope you enjoyed this video i love filming these reading vlogs let me know if you'd like to see more of them go follow my socials down below they're always linked down there if you'd like to talk to me somewhere else i have a goodreads i have a bookstagram like comment subscribe and i love you so much and i hope you come to watch the next one i hope i see you in the next one and i'm sorry this video was so wimpy because i was sick i love you all